Hey guys, just a little quick video, Project Turbo LS. Just installed the blow-off valve here. This is from eBay, about 128 bucks uh, shipped. It comes with a rubber sleeve with a built-in aluminum flange. So pretty convenient. All you gotta do is just hook it or splice it into your existing piping. Get a couple flanges. So this is my elbow here. Cut the size. It probably goes down to about here so we have lots of engagement on our clamp, so nice and solid. It clears everything. So basically what you do now is you just Hook up the top port here, and that goes to your intake manifold. And as you guys all know, on the LS truck intakes, they actually have a uh, extra vacuum port that you have to open up, and it's actually like right here. So basically, you just open up, and now you've got a vacuum source. So we'll just put that in there. So and there you go. So pretty simple. So basically, top port goes to a vacuum source so when the, when the uh, throttle blade shuts, there's actually vacuum in here. Vacuum goes to our blow-off valve, sucks open the piston, and then you get that noise that everybody likes. It relieves the pressure in your intake. So that's uh, pretty simple. And uh, when I hook up the other side and get this thing running, I'm definitely gonna make a video with this, uh, with everything functioning, and you guys can see how it sounds. I'm not sure if we're gonna leave this line here, but we'll see. That's the one that was supplied with the uh, with the blow off valve, so, but we'll see. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you the uh, the vacuum port that we opened up here on a factory truck intake. This is the extra one they give you, but it's covered up, so you basically have to open it up with your side cutters, and I just cleaned it up a little bit with my uh, air grinder. Give you a close up view here. So there it is. So basically what happens is our uh, vacuum line goes, just goes on here. If I can get this fucking thing on with my left hand here <laughs> there you go so yeah so that's it so that goes from the vacuum port to our top port of our uh, blow off valve so what happens is we close the throttle blades and there's no more boost in the in the intake so basically it goes to vacuum so what happens is as you close the throttle that excess pressure just basically gets bled off through our blow-off valve here. So as it goes to vacuum, we're actually adding suction to this port here because there's no more boost going into the intake manifold, so it changes to vacuum instantaneously and it opens up our blow-off valve and you get that nice little noise that everybody loves. Okay guys, so basically what we gotta do here, this is the uh, 90 degree coupling, as you can see here, coming out of our the other side of our intercooler. So I've got this, uh, 90 degree elbow long radius six inches so basically what we got to do now is we got to uh, basically if you guys can see that hopefully you can see that up there is the uh, blow off valve uh, sleeve that we have to get to so I'm just going to take a measurement from the end of this pipe here and up into the coupler and see what we need for a three inch straight length of run and then we can get uh, we basically going to weld it to the end of this thing and then we just got a nice uh, system where we're going right into our uh, blow off valve coupler from underneath out of the intercooler. So I'm just going to measure that and then weld it and put it together then I'll put another scene on showing how the complete, completed system uh, of boost going into our intercooler then boost coming out uh, by going by the blow off valve and into our intake and I'll show you how that looks. So basically that's the procedure here uh, just using a bunch of uh, couplers 90 degree here coming out then a piece of uh, 3 inch pipe uh, exhaust pipe basically and then we're just going to measure from the end of this one about an inch and a half into that guy up there and see what our length is and we're going to weld it up and put everything together. I should have bought clamps yesterday but I was busy so I'll go get them tomorrow. So here's a look from underneath guys. Uh, inner cooler, our 90 degree uh, coupling here and of course our fabricated elbow with straight running up to our uh, blow off valve sleeve I'll show you that in a second here but I just wanted to show you what it looked like from underneath so there it is coming out of the intercooler and of course we got our clamps on there here's the intercooler and here it is coming into the intercooler and again going up to our compressor outlet up in the fender I cut a hole in there and I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second here when I lower the car 
So the car is lowered. I can show you. Here it is, guys. Here's the uh, blow-off valve with the incorporated flange into our sleeve. So what this does is it eliminates the need to buy a couple of couplings. If we used a uh, aluminum hard uh, flange uh, system. So this just eliminates the need for a couple couplings. So we can just basically put our pipe right in there with the clamps. So again, guys, here from the top view, there's our boost tube pipe, 20 inches with the elbow that I fabbed up yesterday, going into our blow off valve sleeve and into our intake system. And uh, the way it's hooked up here, I'll show you right now. We've got a vacuum tube coming from uh, a vacuum line coming from our, our vacuum source. That's the second position over from the end of our factory truck LS intake manifold. And I showed you in a previous scene how we opened that up just using a pair of side cutters and I just ground away. So it makes a nice convenient uh, spot for a vacuum. So basically the theory of how this works is when we have boost going into our intake track here, this tube here is all pressurized, the elbows pressurized, intake manifolds pressurized. So everything's pressurized. And when we close the throttle, let our foot off the gas, what happens is that pressure's got to go somewhere. So we close the throttle, so now our whole intake track here is going to be pressurized and our intake manifold is going to be in vacuum because the pistons are still moving up and down so they're going to create vacuum. So we've got a vacuum signal coming out of into our vacuum line here, traveling to our diaphragm of our blow-off valve. This vacuum signal then pulls open the valve and relieves it, relieves the boost pressure that's built up in our boost tube and system out of this port right here. So that's where we get that nice little push, a nice, nice little sound that everybody loves when we let off the gas. So yeah, so that's how it works. So basically, vacuum source at the back, going to our diaphragm. So as soon as we, we close the throttle plate here, we get uh, vacuum in the intake manifold. That signal is transferred over to our blow off valve, pulls open the valve, and we relieve the pressure in our intake tract. And then we get that nice little sound. So that's how that works. Also, while I'm here, guys, I might as well show you just our spacing with everything. As you can see here, we've got lots of clearance between our intake boost tube piping and uh, couplers and our uh, serpentine belt and, and tensioner. Also our uh, alternator has lots of clearance here. And even our fan, if you look right here, you can see that there's about half inch between our fan and the uh, boost tube, which is good because nothing is gonna be moving there. So we got clearance everywhere. Everything fits nicely. Uh, it's pretty rigid, as you can see, with the clamping. So that's good. We got three-inch pipe, exhaust pipe that I fabricated, and I got an elbow and stuff like that. Just bought different pieces. So yeah, so that that's it, guys. And down there, you can see the the hot side coming up here to our turbo, 76, 75 on three, uh, billet wheel turbo. Uh, here's our wastegate. My buddy James gave me that. It's a tile unit, so I think there's about a 14 PSI spring or a combination of springs in there so far. We just have to hook it up. And we're just going to be using a manual boost controller because uh, it's cheaper and it works. And again, here, guys, is my fabricated uh, factory exhaust truck manifold. That's our hot side, and you can see it going down there in front of the uh, damper and over to the other side right there. You see that? Sorry for the camera work, guys, but I don't have a cameraman, so. But anyways, yeah, so that's it. So there's blow-off valve and boost tube built. So uh, hopefully next scene we will get in here and we'll basically start hooking up the Terminator X Max uh, ECM and uh, make another video with that. Okay, guys, so that uh, concludes the video where we built the boost tube and the blow-off valve piping uh, going to our intake manifold. Went pretty good. Uh, I spent about, uh, let's say, about... Uh, it's going to be about $300 when we, when we uh, talk about the pipe I bought, basically exhaust pipe 3 inch, and then all the couplers of course. Uh, so about $300 and then for that, and then $128 for the uh, blow-off valve you see behind me there. So about, let's just call it uh, $450, let's just run, them, just run it up to $500. So it's, it's pretty expensive for something like that, but it's, if it's built right, it'll work well. And that is the, the heart of your system to get the boost into your engine as efficiently as possible. So. Uh, so yeah, so we spent some money, built it right. Hopefully I built it right, but we'll see. So uh, uh, I just gotta rebuild the, the exhaust coming out there and then uh, we can hook up the uh, Terminator X Max ECM and hopefully I can document that procedure and then uh, we can go from there. So again, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope uh, 
you learned something and I learned something too. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.